It's either there or it's in the front, and I don't think people put their gardens in the front in Tennessee because I ain't getting close to snake bushes. Okay, so Alden told me I would never get that off, so we're gonna do it or die, right? Yep. Do it or die. Amen. I don't care if I have to tear it down and buy a new board, then you'll never know. We're gonna do it. For the first time in ages, I wake up and don't hate it. I guess I found some peace. And the team decided to do a little mud diving, sliding, whatever. Let's go jump in the pool. Close it on. That pool looks so good. Look, I should be a water treatment person. That should be my job. My head space. A week or it's been waiting for the right day. Like the right day ever comes. Now it's Friday. And nothing's changed. Hey friends and welcome back. As I was inside, we over in the last video you guys just seen, Heather and Alden were outside planting Kennedy's new willow tree. So we were at Lowe's with Flash, as you seen in the last video, and we found this willow tree that was already six feet tall. So we snagged that and we got that planted, or they got that planted on this day. But this video is packed with motivation. We worked nonstop from sun up till sundown. So hopefully this will give you guys some motivation. It was supposed to rain all weekend here, but luckily it didn't and we got so much done. So I'm so glad you're here and I hope you guys get some motivation from it. our willow tree planted tied up so it don't weep over too far it's already taller than me Reagan's here with her puppy Kennedy's home from softball mm -hmm. tell him hello Kennedy hey. she's not real happy she's not happy to be home <laughs> so they got rained out and the team decided to do a little mud diving, sliding, whatever. And these are her socks and her belt. We told her to leave everything else at ETSU. I did. We put it in. If you're a ball mom, you know how hard it can be to get stains out of uniforms, socks, belts, all that. I wish I'd had a pressure washer all of these years. We actually did have a pressure washer, Alden and I, and it was one that ran on gas. This one is electric, so it's very easy for me. You plug it in, hook the water up, turn it on. It's so easy. So I don't know that I would have used a gas one as much anyway, but anyway, this is definitely so much easier than scrubbing. But Heather had spilled Duncan in her seat 
Yeah, so she had stains and she had a hat on there for a while, but then Flash rode with her too to the vet and to Lowe's, and then he had a pup cup, and her seat was just so bad. And we had cleaned this seat actually with our old carpet cleaner, but it just left horrible water spots. It actually looked worse after than before when we got done. But this carpet cleaner done an amazing job on her seat. She said after it was dry the next day, you couldn't tell that there had ever been a stain there. So you guys seen that I used this new carpet cleaner a couple videos back. And if you're wondering about the upholstery attachments, they work great as well. So moving on, I had sprayed a little bit of the driveway and it was so dirty. I was like, oh my gosh. So we got to looking at this sidewalk. And you can tell right there where I had sprayed the driveway, but the sidewalk was really bad. So I just wanted to go ahead and start on that. I don't finish this up. I actually go inside and make us all some lunch. And when I come back out, Heather had picked up some paint and varnish stripping gel. And we got that at Lowe's. And then the second run, she got at Walmart. We had ran out, so she ran to Walmart and got it there. But it's supposed to be trending right now, so we were going to just try it out. We had watched some YouTube videos on it. It seemed to work really well. The reviews were great, so I was going to go ahead and try it. I knew it would not take what we had on our porch off. As a matter of fact, I'm convinced that the same person that painted our kitchen cabinets, those four coats of whatever color it was, is the same person that put the four coats on the front porch of this deck coating. So anyway, I was like, there's no way it's gonna take it off, it's so thick. But stick around, you guys are gonna be amazed. Never look back, now we're over, that's a fact. Blazing light, see it all bright. You will never ride back to life. I apologize, too soon to say I'm fine. Too soon to say I'm fine, oh. I don't know what to say, what to do, how to make you see This is nothing in real life, it might just have been a bad dream You can run, you can hide, but you can't put the blame on me Because you're acting like a volcano It may not look like a huge difference on film right here, but in person, it honestly looks like we had new concrete poured. It is crazy at how dirty that was. And who would even think a driveway or sidewalk gets that dirty? But there was little green spots down in the grooves and it looked like algae or I don't know, it was just slimy and green. So I got all that out too but I can't wait to get this sidewalk finished back up. We were just excited to try out this drooping gel. We wanted to see what the hop was all about and see if it would work. So we just skipped and moved along to the front porch. Not only did this stripping gel work great, it smells so good. It smells like an orange hand cleaner, like a soap that men use, like in a garage or something. I can't explain it. It reminds me of something and I think that's it. But it smells so good. So what you do is you paint it on and you paint it on pretty thick and you let it sit for 30 minutes and then you scrape it off or pressure wash it off. All of the YouTube videos that we've seen said if you have a pressure washer, pressure wash what you can off first. It'll save you a whole lot of time and it works so good. So I was like, well, lucky for us, we have a pressure washer now. So I took the scraper to that right after it had sit for 30 minutes and it came right off. I could not believe. It was just like it had melted right off. It was crazy. I would have never believed that it would have took off this deck coating the way it did. 
And when I say thick, like it's really thick on the steps, not on the part you put your foot on, but the back that keeps you from seeing through. But in front of this door, it's really thick because of course the weather's not hit it. You'll see in a few minutes how good this stuff works. Oh, yeah, yeah. a bunch of t-shirts to make on this day so what I would do is I would put this on different places and I would let it sit for 30 minutes while it was sitting I would run upstairs and I would cut and then weed out try to iron on as much as I could run back down here pressure wash that off or apply a new coat somewhere else I was just kind of back and forth trying to multitask and I didn't bring the camera with me it's just a lot of work and you guys see me make t-shirts all the time so you've seen in the first part of the video that Alden pressure washed a little bit of these steps and then he helped Heather plant that tree. I just want to shout out to him because he never knows what he's going to get when he gets out of the car here, what we're going to be into, and he usually does jump in and help what he can. There's sometimes I'm like, no, just go see Allison, go spend time with her or something like that. And we're good. But then there's sometimes that, you know, I need his advice or he'll jump in and help a little bit. And he's very good to us. He is. He's all the time offering to help or he never just like sends me to voicemail when I call because he never knows what I'm going to ask or get him into when he picks up or when he gets out of the car at this house. Now that you're mine, it's so hard to take things slow. Oh, don't wanna wait another day, don't wanna fire to fade to glow. We're going under the weather, harder than ever, higher than high we go. So I would definitely recommend this stuff if you have any kind of paint or varnish or anything like that that you need taken off anything without any fumes. I mean, it smelled so good. There was no harsh fumes at all. And I think it even says that on the bottle, but it worked so well. I could not believe that it worked on this stuff, especially because this is super thick. So there are some places I'm gonna have to sand over just because on the front of those steps, as we were peeling that stuff off, it would splinter up the wood like some took little bitty pieces of wood off. So there are some places that splintered up and I'll have to go over that and sand that. I know a lot of people have said, oh, you're gonna have to sand that, you're gonna have to do this, you're gonna have to do that, and I am, but it's worth it to me. I don't mind to put the work into this porch because it's going to be really pretty when it's done and it's going to look so much better and we like the color of just wood so I think that we're going to enjoy it a lot more without walking up these steps and seeing this stuff chipped off and it's just a really pretty house to have a porch on it that looks like this like these steps look so bad so I hands down think all the time elbow grease all that is worth it I don't mind to put in work on anything as long as I know the outcome is going to be good it really pushes me to get there so I think ultimately it's going to look so much better I mean you can see here how bad it looks so I'm just glad that it's coming off and we can get this porch looking really pretty again. I think we might even add some lots, some kind of solar lots or just some kind of lighting to it, but I think it's gonna look really cute when it's done. Even when my teardrops start to dry Sun begins to shine again. Taking all 
ahead and share my devotional with you guys today. I know it's a little early in this video, but I've just got a long stretched out space here that I can talk. So this is again from my phone, but I read it this morning and it touched me. So hopefully it'll touch one of you guys and make you feel a little better too. But today's is broken. Most people tend to despise broken things, often wanting to throw them away. When you hear the word broken, it implies that something's wrong. Something is not working the way it's supposed to be. To be broken means to be violently separated into parts, shattered, or completely crushed, sorrowful. We not only like to throw away broken things, we sometimes throw away broken people. On the contrary, God loves broken people and is actually drawn to them. What is it about brokenness that attracts God's attention? Why does God love using broken people? Paul as an example. The beauty of Paul's story is God took the worst of sinners and made him a chief. An example of God's grace. So is it with you. I encourage you to embrace brokenness. It will draw you closer to God. It will allow you to help someone else. It will allow God to put you on display as a trophy of his grace. Either way, if you are broken, you are just the one that God is looking for. I think each of us can say at some point in our life we've been broken. I guess one reason this house is so special to me is because we did come to this house broken. God has shown me so many things. He showed up for me. He's fought for me. He's made things right. He's made a way when I thought that there was no way. So if you're in those shoes today and you're broken, let me tell you from someone who's been there, I felt like I had destroyed my kids' lives. I couldn't see any good that could come out of it. We were hurt. We shed many tears. But let me tell you, he has made ways when I thought there was no way. He has turned every single thing that was meant to harm us into something good. He's restored relationships. He's put smiles on my kids' faces. He's blessed us. We've prospered. I've made so many friends through you all and through your messages. I know that my story has helped so many of you. So if it'll help one person, it's worth telling. Okay, so Alden told me I would never get that off, so we're gonna do it or die, right? Yep. Do it or die. Amen. I don't care if I have to tear it down and buy a new board, then he'll never know. We're gonna do it. As far as Alden and I go, I've had so many people ask me, are we gonna get back together? How is our relationship now? And I've even had some comments that have said that I'm ugly to him, I treat him bad. So just to clear that up, he is very well taken care of. I feed him supper most nights. I do all of his laundry. I go to the doctor with him. I do anything he needs done. I take care of him. He takes care of me. He's very good to us and we're very good to him. If you all hear us arguing or going back and forth, we're just kidding. We're just playing. I would never put something real like that in one of my videos. Alden is a very private person, so I don't say a whole lot because I respect that. My back broke. Alden is a good man. He is a great dad, a great papa. We had to learn to communicate and we had to learn to let go of some things, pick our battles, because what we picked at wasn't worth the arguing. But we just had to learn to talk and just to be friends again, because I think we were to the point that we didn't like each other. And if you're in a relationship like that, I completely understand. And my advice would be pick your battles. Some things are not worth arguing over. Let's go jump in the pool. Close it on. Yeah. We just take everything day by day and that's all you can do. You know, it's baby steps and some days are good and some days aren't as good, but all days are blessed. We show up for our kids. Our kids are thriving and they're happy. So that's all that matters. That's what's important to us. That's what we agreed to focus on. Wandering and fading, I know there's something I am ready for doing some changing, oh God, there is something more than this, and you can have all the world, I want to be a shining light, live a life 
that shows through the darkness The fire burning in the night Be a hope for the world so broken Be a friend to the Lord I thought you were getting your hair wet! Uh, was we getting our hair wet? Was we supposed to go under? Yeah! yeah. It's really not. I mean, the sun's not out. If the sun was out, it wouldn't be bad. I wasn't gonna kill it. It's not as bad as it was the day I vacuumed it. Keep my windows open. I hear the cries of the broken. I know they will be. So we, we're thinking about putting a garden right here. Just like maybe a... What size? Like 10 by 12 or something. Just a long little square. Long little square right there. Cause I ain't getting close to snake bushes. I think that's the only other place we got. Cause I ain't going back there. So it's either there or it's in the front. And I don't think people put their gardens in the front in Tennessee. Huh? No. So that's the only other place right here we would have to put a garden, except in front of our driveway. But sometimes we pull on up. If we have like a lot of people coming, we'll pull on up in front of our storage shed. So I don't think that's an option. So it's either right here or back there where I showed you. And I think back there is probably going to be the better option. So, but thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. And I will see you guys probably tomorrow because I'm going to work maybe on the door, maybe on the fireplace, maybe in the yard. Who knows? Who knows what's going to happen, right? Who knows what's going to happen? But anyway, I love you guys. Jesus loves you so much. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Live a life that shows through the darkness. That pool looks so good. Look, I should be a water treatment person. That should be my job. World's so